So welcome to Flax. What is Flax? Well, Flax is a place where you can find out where word combinations go together. So for example, um, let's take the word station, which I've already typed in here. Um, station, if you were to stop and think about it, what words normally go together with station? And you might come up with a few, but instead of trying to rack your brain and try and think of like, what are the words that normally go together with this? You can use this tool to be able to find that out. There's a bunch of different directories you can use. So the first one that the most default one is the contemporary English one using Wikipedia. So what it does is it actually takes the database of all the Wikipedia articles in English and it actually takes a look and it see, okay, here's that word. What are the words that normally go together with it? Right next to it or spaced close nearby? And it'll then give you a number of the number of sequences that it sees with that particular word and other words together with it combination wise. If you're just using for standard English, that's, this is a really good one for that. Um, but there are some academic English ones as well. Um, so you can divide it up by physical sciences, social sciences, life sciences, arts and humanities. Uh, and then this is the British national corpus, so this will be more British English. Um, so it's standard English, but with Br uh, a British database. So depends on what kind of one you want to do. I'm just going to run it with the contemporary English for this particular example. Um, so I've typed in the word, and as I type in the word, you'll notice, uh, I'll just take one of those letters out. As you type in the word, you actually get a drop down telling you um, some options for it. So for example, did you want to use station or did you want to put stationary? So I'm going to use station and I'm going to click on go. And it just takes a second, it'll pull up. And you'll notice that it has at the top a few things. One, it says family words, stations. If you have another word that has more um, family words, so adjective form, noun form, adverb form, that type of thing, it'll have that and synonyms. If you click on synonyms, it'll have words that are similar to it um, in verb and um, noun form or adjective form is another one. But if you take a look here, it says station used as a noun and station used as a verb. So under noun, it's going to actually divide it up. So it's going to say, look for noun plus station. So noun, noun combinations, adjective plus station. So adjective plus station. Um, and then noun of station. So for example, end of the station, um, verb station, noun plus, you see all these different forms that are here. And so you can take a look and you can see, for example, in the noun plus station, we have railway station comes up first, 33,000. Now, to give you an idea of these numbers, typically anything that's getting close to 1,000 is really common combination. Um, so as you can see here, we've got a lot of really call, common collocations with nouns. So obviously, the station gets used a lot of times with other nouns. And that's a telling sign of this particular word. It tells us that that word is commonly used with a noun because um, if I take a look at the other ones they're a lot less. Now after that adjectives that describe station um, for example is new it's a very common one 2000 but nearest railway station that entire phrase gets used a thousand times so that's a really common collocation in contemporary English. Um, even this one at 892 is still local radio station that type of thing. Now, this is just a quick snippet, but you can also see there's more. And as you click more, it shifts. It stays in the same spot, but it shifts over to the next selection. I can still see there's up to 1,000. Station wagon, well, I haven't used that in a long time, but obviously it is in our historical record, still used quite a bit. Um, then if you take a look down here, we don't have as many noun plus of stations, but actually if you compare against other noun forms, like that instead of station, this is kind of high and it just tells us if I compare other nouns that have this noun of something format this is really common um, for this particular word station so you can see all the different words and the combinations that they have and if you go and you click on any of them so for example gas station I click on it um, I actually get a breakdown of even more collocations so gas station by itself is a thousand nine hundred and sixteen but gas station attendant is 120 so as we expand that phrase we get less and less of those combinations but we can see this the combinations that are here and it just tells us this is how it's used um, so I can start to find phrases that work now if I actually click on any of these within here I'm gonna get sample sentences pulled right out of that database in this case Wikipedia and I can see in bold here where it's used in the sentence. So in this particular case, it's important to note that it's used with an article, a gas station attendant, the gas station attendant, 
okay? If I go through here, um, even uh, this one here says uh, dim-witted gas station attendants. We still have that article that's in there. It's an important thing to learn, okay, what are the other pieces that go together with it? What prepositions, what articles, what other things that are connected to it as we go through? So these are things to kind of keep note of. What are the co common collocations as we call them? If I click over, click over here to station used as a verb, I'm just going to close this off, um, you'll notice that there's a lot less of it used as a verb form, but it is used as a verb form, um, but it's just not used very often. It's in case, if you're wanting to understand, it's usually used in military, station troops, station military advisors. So you station someone somewhere, and that's a military kind of form, and you can see that that appears here. Um, now, what if I was to use a different uh, database? So for example, if I used uh, social sciences, for example, the word station, what would change in here? Obviously, we still have railway station, but power station gets moved up a little bit. And you'll see that power station continues to appear quite a bit in here. But the numbers have dropped dramatically because this database is much smaller. Um, Wikipedia is a much larger uh, database it's pulling from. So I typically use the contemporary Wikipedia one but then I'll add in the other ones to get a bigger picture of what's going on. But again, if we just want to do it, click on it, and then I can see there's lots of other combinations. I'm going to click on Power Station. What are some of the combinations? Again, often used, although not always, with an article, the, uh, and even this uh, type of station, um, this Power Station instead of an article. Now we have this uh, this form instead. So. Um, Anyway, it it's, helps us to get a bigger picture of how to use the particular words that we learn. We don't just learn the definition, we learn about where it goes, what it attaches to, and what we can use it with. So um, hopefully it's helpful to you. Uh, if you do have any questions about it, they do actually have some information in the main Flax directory. So if you click on the Flax logo up here, they do have some other resources that are here and it'll explain a little bit more about how these things work and there's more videos and stuff that are here as well so there you go that's flax